In today's episode, we have built a barn and we have created power using stress units to power our ME system. And we have built power lines and power grids to, to hook them all up together. If you like this video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below. And let's get on with the video. In the last episode, we have built, we have built this and this. We have decorated this whole place, you can see. In between episodes, I've been busy. So this is what I built in between. Oh, and I'm missing a seed right there. In between episodes, I have built this behind a power factory, station, whatever you call it, biofuel factory. Yeah, it's called that biofuel factory. We have built this and I did this. Basically, I have extended the farm to back here because we have a ton of engines right here running and with silencers. Thank God it's quiet and peaceful right here. So that's why we built this to basically sustain the fuel usage and even more. And it looks like we're maintaining it just so fine. And I added this pathway going through here to the main area. And I added some shipping crates and some tanks. Oh, they like some shipping crates and the tanks for aesthetic purpose. This has a, this tank has a purpose. This doesn't. And I even change this machine out. So basically, tomatoes come from here, and I added door here. Basically, tomatoes will come out of there when it's done. It's supposed to come out of here through a brass funnel. Tomatoes come up here and we'll go all the way through here and go through here so i've extended the brass funnels into four to cater two mechanical crafters and two basin for the purpose of plant oil and then i added two more basin with lids to cater our ethanol and our ethanol production is just doing fine as you can see right there and back here and i also upgraded this um Basically, it's the same system, but I just added a few more things and the pipes. That was loud. The pipes are all connected down below going through there. And I also move this, the mixer right here instead of here because we have a door here now. So that's basically all the new stuff I did in between episodes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, and I also dug out this area for our road, but I need to deconstruct all of this, but I don't know where to put this stuff. Um, let me know down below if you have any suggestions like a house or maybe another factory. I don't know, maybe a building skyscraper. Please do let me know in the comment section down below, please, please. Before we get into today's episode, I would like to complete some couple of quests. So basically, we have a lot of quests we didn't claim. First is a shovel. Okay, we'll pick... Uh, actually, I would like dark oak. And some XP. One. He gave me one. Next is the hoe. I would like dark oak again. And it gave me one. That's nice. Just like that, we have completed every single one. I mean, check every single one, not completed, I wish. And that leads me into today's episode. What I want to build is a barn. Why should I build a barn? is because of this enchantment to create confectionery basically it's all sweets like candy yeah, it's basically all candy but we need for example if you want to make honey candy we need honey and wheat flour and sugar basically you, you get you get wheat flour for wheat by crushing them or milling them or basing them with the lid as you saw in the last episode, you have seen the block palette that I'm gonna go. Basically, this is for the barn itself, and this is for the roof. And this is for like decoration stuff. Yes. This is for the decoration and stuff. And we have a botanist work a botanist workbench, a mason table, and a carpenter's table ready. So 
I have an image here. I have an image here on what I want to build. I'm going to build it real quick. We have all the materials right here. As you can see, I've been grinding all morning. Right there and right there. All of this netherrack. So let me build this structure and I'll be back with you guys. This is the finish building. Oh, not that. That's the picture. That's the reference I use. This is the finished building, as you can see. And let me give you a tour. The block palette has been changed. This is the roof I was going to use. But I instead used the quartz pillar, as you can see right here. And we have not used all the blocks. As you can see, none of the mud pillars has been has been used. But I think it looks good actually the original <coughs> actually the original picture that i used for a reference is not the best so i'd look for another one and this is what i found it looks more looks like a mansion more like a barn <laughs> and for the windows i used the frame double stairs right all over, over here as a border i think it looks good and i used diorite for window panes for the windows as you can see it opens and closes and for the door i used the garage door from a cow's doors as you can see and the inside doesn't look too good because if i use those doubles if i use frame double stairs um as you can see it leaves a white outline but i don't really care about that i what what i care is about all in the outside and we have this as our, you know, kind of roofy thingy. And I'm pissed off because it's not centered because this is four blocks wide. This is one block wide. So it needs to be five, but it doesn't fit when it's five blocks wide. Next, and then agenda. Uh, I'm full. The storage is full. Next agenda is to make a refined storage unit because I'm out of storage as of now. And I don't want to keep adding chests because chests are entity. As you can see, my game is lagging. No, it's not. But earlier, it's lagging. Because we have a lot of machines, I don't want to keep adding more. So I'm going to use refined storage unit for that. And the basic recipe for the refined storage unit is basically raw processors and then cook them up. And then craft yourself some 1K, 6, 4K. Basically, this is all the refined storage unit you should use. And the first thing is the controller. To make a controller is basically quartz in which iron and then some silicon. To get silicon, you need to smelt some nether quartz. So I'm just going to do that and we're low on nether quartz. So I'm just going to, whilst that cooking, I'm going to go to the nether and grab myself some few nether quartz out. But before we go to the nether, I'm going to make myself a jetpack to make my life easier collecting nether quartz and nether. So how do we craft a jetpack? You may ask. It's quite basic actually. To craft yourself a jetpack is basically cogwheels, some brass if you're using the brass jetpack. And you just need a steam engine. For a steam engine, it's quite a process but it's not damn hard. All you need is three cogwheels, three large cogwheels, three propellers, and then three andesite alloy to make this. So first is you need a brush sheet. So I'm just going to do this process and I'll be right back. In the last episode, if you didn't watch it, I made this mechanical crafter to be able to make those crushing wheels. I think the crafting recipe goes with this in the middle, brass. And then fans at the end, I think. Let me double check. Fans there and right there. And then cogwheels at the top. One, two, and three. And we're missing something. Yeah, and then the side alloy. Which goes right there. And why are you not crafting it? Um, steam engine right here. And the side alloy right there. In case fans right there and right there and cogwheels at the top nope not that not there 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 we go you have yourself a jetpack 
And I don't know how to fly this thing. Okay, there we go. Now I'm flying. Ouch. So basically, what you need to do is to have water in this and your off wand. Basic pressing Q. You need to press Q when your brass jetpack is in your off hand and then your water bucket on your main hand. So basic pressing Q, that will fuel up your jetpack. Good thing we have a lot of wood right here. So by pressing Q, you can hold Q to fuel up your jetpack with fuel. So let me just do that. Just like that. Don't need to... Don't mean to do that. Basically, that's it. We have a jetpack now. That's good. Whee! Ouch. Look at me. Fly. We have a jetpack. So let's go to the nether, collect some quartz, and I'll be right back. Another one here. here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. What the hell are you? Oh, hi, guys. Oh, that's, you drop gunpowder, but not tears. And we're also gonna grab grab those. I think this should be enough. So our silicon is done cooking right now, and I'm gonna add one more. Then I should be not able to be to store our nether quartz. So that's gonna be a problem. So we need to do this fast. Next step is to craft some raw basic silicon. Basically, you need some processing binding which requires slime balls and I'm gonna show you how to get slime balls in a little bit. So for now, I'm gonna craft 32 of those and just like that, we have a raw processor and what are we missing? Silicon. Stomp you in the machine. And I think, let me grab a couple of these and start, and what are we missing? Iron? Uh -huh. No problem, I have a lot of iron here. There we go. I think then grab 15. 15 should be good for now. And let me cook you up real quick because we need those a little bit. Next is we're going to craft some raw improved processors. And I think I'm going to grab a couple of these for now. I think we're going to grab uh, 10. That should be good. And some raw advanced processors. I'm gonna make 10 of these also. We ran, out of, we ran out of... We have run out of processor binding. Oh god. Um, Can we make string by any chance? Crushing wool. Or milling. I think we have some wool right here. Yeah, we have. Let me get you... Let me crush you real quick. And... Should be good. Oh yeah, and I've created a milling machine right over here. Which is pretty good, I must say. And I'm proud. Scrap all of those, another 32, and we are all out of slime. So let me make a couple of these. Then should do it. Should be, nope. Can you make... Nope. Can you... Nope. There we go. We should be able to make... We should be able to make 64k storage drive and we need to make a this. Which is fairly easy and we have a 64k drive. The next on our list is this drive. For this drive, you need quartz enriched iron, chest, machine casing, and advanced processor to make a... To make a machine casing, you need quartz and stone. I think we have stone and I think we all have that. So, please, yeah. Should be able to make you. Yes, thank you. And for the controller, we need quartz enriched iron. And with I think we have all of that. Uh, yes, 
And then next is our crafting grid, which is fairly easy. Viewing items. Yeah. I don't like to view items. I need to craft an item. So there we go. We have the components to our fine storage unit. And I'm going to set it up right over here. I'm going to do is controller right there. This drive right there and a crafting grid right there. And you're saying to yourself, how do you get power in Create? There's no power making system in Create. And that's what you're wrong, my friend. I have downloaded a mod that converts SU to RF, which we need an alternator, an electric motor. I just think we need an alternator. We need an alternator to convert stress units into RF. So enable to do that, we need and aside alloy, some copper sheets, some copper spool, iron rod, and some capacitors. So for the copper stool, it's pretty easy to make. Just some copper wire, which is we need the rolling mill, which is pretty easy to make by itself. And I have, I think, yeah, iron sheets right here. Um, for a rolling mill, you need RF, of course. So I'm going to put a little system right here that will convert it into a wire. So I'll be right back. So I'm back and I have constructed some wire, some wooden posts for the wires to connect and I tried to connect this pool I mean this connector to this and it's too long but I have a solution for that which is connect to the side of this building uh, which is gonna be I think right there and another one there I hope this should connect, let me see, from you to you, yes it connects, okay good, then you to you, yes you to you, then you to you, what, come on, there we go, I wonder, you could um yes did we're online we're online oh my god this is not really necessary defense post i mean the the electrical post but it's a good aesthetic thing to do and i think it looks great um those wires coming down right through there so what I'm going to do next is basically transfer all of our items from right there to there. And I'll be right back when I'm done. So I have, oh, I forgot I have the jackpack. So I have finished moving all my items into the ME system, to the new ME system. So all of those items is equivalent to 20,000 items in 84. To be exact, we have all our items except for wood. And wood, I've kept specifically here. If I need wood logs, I just shift left click those. So, and this is still functioning. And I have dug out a little cave system all the way there. Going through, connecting it to our power station right here. I just love those little details, like, ugh. So what I wanna do now is to destroy this, my starting platform in episode 2. Um, it's gonna be sad, we have a lot of memories here, building, crafting stuff. So I'm gonna deconstruct this and I'll be back to you guys. And just like that, our platform is gone. Ouch. But what I wanna do is... What I want to do is build a road road over here. Basically, I have chipped some mud. Oh, wait. Basically, I've chipped some mud to put as a road. I think it looks the most asphalt, in my opinion. 
How are we looking? I think it could look good. Maybe with a bit of black stone. I mean, deep slate. Maybe. Um, for me, I think it doesn't look bad. But tell me guys what you think down below in the comment section. Because I'm not really contented with that texture as a road. The next thing I want to do is finish off the farm by decorating it with some gravel and some leaves all around here replacing every inch or every block there is not really all all of those blocks but all around the farm i think it would look great um and i'm planning to build because there's going to be a road down here i think there's going to be a gravel road some sort going through here and i'm gonna keep that in mind and I'm gonna build this road and I'm gonna get back to you guys when I'm done. It's gonna be a labor intensive task, dude. I need to finish this video and edit it out and upload it for you guys.